Hey guys, I am back with another uh, wax haul. This time it is from BZ Tarts. The owner of BZ Tarts is John. Um, it is a vendor wax company based out of Washington State. Um, what else can I say? It's been a while since I have ordered from BZ's and actually I was watching Carrie's collections um, here on YouTube and she was doing her wax empties, I think on Saturday or Sunday. And she was talking about BZ. She had it in her empties and I was like, wow, it's been a really long time um, since I've ordered. So let me go take a little look and if he has things that I like, I'll make an order. Um, and of course he had things that I liked and wanted and there you go. So thank you, Carrie, for <laughs> talking about BZ. I don't hear that much about him. His wax is fantastic. And I think that's probably why I haven't ordered because kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Um, but he has fantastic wax. So let us get started. So he is known for his scent shot cups, which are two ounce cups. Okay filled to the brim to the point that a lot of times the tops pop off. He does sell um, the polypropylene bags that you can buy that fit this. And I was going to grab some, um, but I have some, I have some bags. I'm just going to make do. I didn't look at all of these or sniff them. He does, they did come packaged like this. Um, if you order 20 or less, of the scent shot cups um he puts them in a padded flat rate envelope so shipping for this was i try to give you guys as much as much information as i can nine dollars and thirty cents so i think i i ordered 20 scent shot cups um so i believe my total came to 42 dollars and five cents, I think with shipping, I, I'm not totally sure. So let me just tell you, his sunshine cups are $1.85, which is fantastic. I feel like they've been that price forever. Maybe at one point they were $1.75, but I feel like his prices have stayed the same. Um, his shipping, does it seem a little high? Maybe uh, he doesn't have a control over that. But I like that he tells you, like, if you order up to this many, it can go in the bag. Otherwise, you need to, you know, pray. shipping will go up and it will be in a box. So I, I just stuck to 20. That's all. That's all I was trying to say. Um, so um, I'm going to share with you guys the samples. Very generous with samples. Oh, so some things he has in like a clearance area of it. So some of these scent shot cups were a dollar. I don't remember which ones. I think this one was, though, now that I'm, I pulled it out. Um, this is his Creme de Menthe Whip. You know what, let me do the samples first. I'm all over the place, sorry. Um, so the first one is in Lemon Eclair. And the only thing that I can say that I don't love about Beezy's is the sample, um, the bags, that's it, right? Because, I mean, everybody, personal preference, because they're those self, like, sticking ones, but it's a dang sample, um, so I don't care. It's when you you have a large quantity of wax in these and you're constantly, like, opening, opening and closing. But this smells good. And I always have loved his adorable labels. Um, so there's no scent notes, no pour dates. I don't care. His... Wax has always been crazy dang strong, um, and it is so incredibly um, well-priced. So, this smells lemony goodness. Lemon bakery good. Then we have November Rain, which is a Yankee Candle type. Oh my gosh, that's so strong. Strong, strong. Mm, that's good. His scent notes are on his page when you um, are ordering. You can see all the scent notes. So if you are familiar with November Rain from Yankee Candle, this is good. Um, it's in a little donut shape. Um, Sultana, which is a Lush type. And I want to say that this isn't my favorite Lush 
product. I love a lot of Lush. Okay, this isn't... I don't know. It's kind of... I feel like it's like a little bit green and like citrusy and perfumey. I could be totally off. I don't know the scent notes, you guys. Sorry. But... That is that. Again, love. Love the labels. And then the last sample is Blueberry Cheesecake Bites. Oh my gosh, how cute. Look at that. Sorry as I shake the camera. And I know some people don't like the sound of opening things, and I apologize. Oh, this is a good blueberry. This is very good blueberry. It's not, um, this is not overly, overly sweet, nor does it smell like candy. This is good. Okay, I'm excited about that. Okay, so there's that. Blueberry bites. Blueberry cheesecake bites. Yummy. And it does. It doesn't have any sourness of a cheesecake. All right, so now on to what I got. There'll be doubles of things. I'm sorry. I didn't, I wanted to show you guys how it was packaged, so... I didn't sort through. But anyway, so this is Creme de Menthe Whip. And the lid isn't shattered or anything. This, I mean, he fills, fills, fills. Ooh, and I can smell that. Oh, this is nice. I think I got several of these because they were a dollar. Yeah, so this is a Creme de Menthe, like, liqueur. Like, poured into, like, fresh whip whipping cream and that you're whipping it up for like a dessert topping oh this is really good okay i'm happy i got this and like i said he fills 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 and that is the cover hand poured scented wax tart all right i'm gonna try not to make this very long but i can't promise um lemon sugar bundt cake i know i've had this from him before his lemon is exceptional. Oh, it's good. Mm. And like that pound cake note. Oh, yummy. Delicious at bakery. It's lemon sugar bundt cake. I'm pretty sure that this was like, this was the regular price, $1.85. He does have, when you go to his site, different categories of like designer dupes and drinks and sweets and stuff like that. Very easy to navigate. Um, lavender sugar cookie. This is so full. Mm, like so full that the indents from the lid, right? Okay, this is good. Big green lavender. Mm, I like this. Definitely more... <clears throat> Um, of an herbal lavender to my nose. You guys, I feel, I compare everything to um, Rose Girl Sweet Lavender. I love that. Um, so if it doesn't smell like that, <laughs> I tend to call it herbal. But to some people, I don't even know if it, this was described as a sweet lavender. Um, but this, this smells really good. I'm going to keep saying that because everything does. Okay. Another crumb de menthe whip. Okay, so I'm just going to put those right there because we already discussed those. Uh, French baguette, you guys. The Bath and Body Works type. And I have that candle. And I haven't burned it yet. But this might be a good thing to warm while I am. Uh, yeah, this is exactly, this is exactly the... Um, The candle, couldn't find my words. Yep, French baguette. Cute picture there of a French baguette. And that's exactly what this smells like. Fresh baked bread. Yummy. Okay, I got another one and I, I think I got four. So we'll keep seeing those pop up. Blueberry meringue tort. Oh, oh this is good, good, I'm so glad. Blueberry can be very kooky to me. This smells a little bit sweeter and it could be because it's a meringue. 
and the, t the tort. So more pastry note. Oh, that's good though. Okay, so far all hits for me. I don't know how often he restocks. Like I said, I really was not paying very much attention. So I say like, look at his Facebook group, um, go to his website. I don't know if he does pre-orders. Oh, sorry. The next one is Mango Sorbet. Oh, this is good. So this is, this is straight up like sorbet. It's not like a ice creamy. It's just very fresh. Fresh mango. Oh, I'm hoping, I hope I got some more than just one of these. I don't know though. Um, oh, okay. Some, I can see some of the things on the invoice. His invoice isn't like a typical invoice. Um, but I think I just got one and it was a dollar. All right. Then we have spun sugar. Is that on here? Yeah, it didn't like print everything out. It's not. Yes, it is. Spun sugar. These were the dollar eighty-five. I guess I got a few of these. So this is cotton candy. It's good. Um, I think this is the only one so far. It just has a little tiny split. That is okay. Like I said, I have bags that these will fit in for anyone that ripped. Otherwise, I'm not like I'm not rebagging. Um, crunch berry crisp. Oh, very desserty. Uh, so I, I'm guessing like mixed, mixed berries, like a apple crisp, but with berries, like that same kind of topping. This is nice. I probably have wax in my mouth. Crunch berry crisp. Lemon sugar bundt cake. We already discussed that. The creme de menthe whip. Already discussed it. A couple more French baguettes. <laughs> Oops. Blueberry meringue tort. Okay, good. I did get a couple of these. You can have these in multiple warmers. Um, okay, not as crunch berry crisp. I have another one of those, and I got a few more of the spun sugar. Like I said, I like this as a as a mixer. So there's that again. So not a huge order. Twenty cent shot cups, and then lavender sugar cookie. I got another one. I'm gonna sniff it again because I this one definitely intrigues me. Mm. This I would melt because it has that sugar cookie in there. I would melt this all throughout my living space. I wouldn't just kind of reserve this for like bedrooms. So out of 20 of them, I only have one lid that is a little like split on the top. So super impressed. Um again, this is Beezy Wax Tart. John is the owner. Um, very, always been very happy, um, with the wax, strong performer, long lasting, his stuff to me, honestly, it always throws like a, me like a high medium to high. So I've never had like duds, low throw stuff. So that's it, you guys. Um, check out BZ. Great prices. Um, I don't know if he has a ton on his site, but check back often. And that's all. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Happy Wednesday. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one.